Everybody, welcome Major League Baseball. We are live and we will soon be up on here uh, tomorrow or the day after. Hopefully, we'll have our lovely faces on here for you. We were just working it out with the studio there. But we are here today coming off of a tough day yesterday and I didn't realize days could go like that. Uh, the Indians that they did win for nothing, but the over didn't hit. So it, baseball can go crazy. So you can think you're right on everything, and then you could be wrong. But we did get the Mets money line there, and we did hit the last three in a row. So we had the Angels money line, Padres over, and the Giants over. So we hit the last three in a row. So that was sweet. It's kind of like, yeah. We'll take your money, and then we'll give you just about eh, most of it back. So a couple losses, though, overall. A few losses, but with the four wins there, we didn't end up too shabby. But I think today we will get back on the money train. So 15 games today. Wow, 15 baseball games, and we got a Detroit game here. Starting at 12.35, Casey Mize is on the hill against Martin Perez. Casey Mize with the 6.23 ERA, Perez with the 2.45 ERA. And we'll have Uncle Marty on shortly, everybody. So just hang in there. If there's any pauses, we'll still be here. We'll be on right, right away. So here we go. All right, so Mize looks like they got Gio Urshela hitting fifth against the Pirates, and I like Urshela here in this spot to even possibly hit a home run. But I do like – I'm going to go Tigers here on this one. So Tigers, they lost yesterday. I think they get back today. You know, looking at the – Numbers. It looks like the Pirates has have Martin Perez, but I think he can get hit today by these Pirates. So, and let's get it up here. It looks like the Pirates. Urshel has got a home run, and he's hitting 444 against Perez. Let's see if Rogers is in the lineup. Yeah, Jake Rogers one for two off Perez with a home run. So I do like uh, Detroit here for the first pick. Put the Tigers in. We'll be calling Uncle Marty soon. Tigers money line, pick one. They, I mean, they lost yesterday, so I think they get this one here today. That's that's the play. Well, we'll get them on here shortly. Minus 102. We got a plus 105. So we'll take the plus. So oh, it went to even. So, yeah, these things, even money. So that's the first pick. And I'll we'll see if uh, Uncle Marty's available. Let's see if he's here. Tigers in for pick one. Game two, hopefully he'll answer. He may be on a conference call. <clears throat> Uncle Marty, answer. Hello? Uncle Marty. At the tone, please. Re yep. Lost him. We'll get him back. Apologize about that. All right. Game two. We have the Baltimore Orioles, Corbin Burns against Brian Bello. So Bello will be starting at home here for a 210 start in Fenway. So Corbin Burns with a 2.31 ERA will be going against Brian Bello with a 5.4 ERA. Uh, looking at this one here, I do 
two. I did research this one. I looked it over. I do like the Orioles here on the money line. You can get it minus 130. I think you're doing very well. So against Bello, Mullins hitting 800. Her O'Hearn hitting one for two, limited sample. Kemp, one for two. And against Burns, they struggle. So four batters haven't got a hit off Burns and two at-bats for Boston. So we'll go Orioles here. Pick two is in. Minus 132 for the Orioles. So that's in there. And uh, real good. So hopefully we'll move quick. Game three, the Chicago White Sox are still in Cleveland. Michael Soraka. And that name kind of reminds me of the character from The Wire, Frank Sabatka. But we got Michael Soraka. So Soraka will be going against Logan Allen here. 6-10 starts, so we're caught up with the two early games here with our picks. So Uncle Marty will have a lot to say on this one. I think he'll probably go Cleveland. Um, Cleveland is the, the pick here. So I think Cleveland money line, it is, it is too high for me, though. I'd even consider some White Sox cash here on that money line. So, uh, But when these get like this... I mean, Cleveland's on a roll. I've talked about it. I don't want to put too much on this one. I do like the under of nine, so that'll be the pick. Under nine, Guardians. So there we go. Pick three's in, under nine for the Guardians. Moving to game four, we have the Milwaukee Brewers. Joe Ross against Frankie Montas. Ross with the zero ERA against Montas with the .77 ERA. In this one, I do like the Brewers' money line, and I do like the under nine and a half. So, pick four, we will go Brewers' money line, liking the under. Small play on the under. So, hope everybody's doing well out there. Game five, we have the Marlins, A.J. Pook on the hill. Lefty against lefty against Carlos Rodon. So, Pook coming in with a 9 ERA. Rodon, 2.79 ERA. And the Marlins still yet to win a ball game. Or, no, they did win one. They're 1-10. One My apologies. They don't want it. Uh, so, 1-10 Marlins against uh, Rodon. And New York has struggled against Pook. So New York, only one hit against Puke, and it looks like 12 at-bats. So everybody's got at least a, a bat off of him. The only hit going to Rizzo. So we'll see if Rizzo is in the lineup. Yeah, it looks like he'll be batting fifth. No confirmed lineup yet. I do like the Marlins here. I like the money line Marlins. So money line Marlins it is. Pick five. So I know New York's good. But Marlins 1-10 with the lefty. New York struggled against Puke. So we'll take the plus 164 money line. So And the Marlins still have some good players there. They got Tim Anderson, uh, Chisholm, Josh Bell, Jake Berger, Lewis Arias. So they're pretty good there. And I think this is a game where New York can, you know, this could be a five to four Miami win or six to five. I think it gets up over the eight. So I do like the over here too, as well with the eight. Game six, Seattle, Toronto. Look this one over. Kirby against Bassett. So you got George Kirby with the 5.23 RA against Chris Bassett with the 7.71 ERA. I like the over here, seven and a half. Pick six over Blue Jays. I got it on ESPN bet. Got it last night. Looks like there's a st still out there, seven and a half, and there's a bunch of eights. So probably one of my favorite plays today is this one here, the over. Kirby with the 5-2-3 and Bassett 7.71. Add those up. You got 13 runs. They're giving you a seven and a half over under. And we'll take it. And uh hitting against each other, these teams hit have 
outbased each pitcher here in this game. They've done very well. So uh, Hanniger, two home runs against Bassett, hitting 571. Polanco hitting 364. France hitting 462. Then against Kirby, Springer one for two, and then a bunch of one for threes there. So pick six is in. Yeah, pick six is in. Game seven, we have Adrian Hauser against Ronaldo Lopez. I like the under here. New York Mets against Atlanta. Yesterday, they scored over 15 runs. So let's just go under nine and a half on this one. So I did look at it earlier. And I do like the under. So nine and a half for pick seven. Here we go, under. Have a little break here, everybody. 30-second coffee break. Grab your drinks, and we will breeze through these, hopefully, and hopefully we'll get Uncle Marty in here shortly for everybody. All right, pick seven, Mets under. Moving to game eight, we have the Houston Astros, Christian Javier with a zero ERA going up against Cole Reagans, the lefty with a 1.46 ERA. You know, I don't know where the line set at this one. It is up to eight and a half over under the Astros. I like them here on the money line, minus 128. So pick eight. Minus 128 money line Astros. So see if we got any numbers here for everybody. I do like that Mets under Toronto over. All right. Melendez two for five against Javier Velasquez with the home run. Bobby Witt two for two against Javier. Bregman with the homer. So yeah, this one can can get get high. I don't know if it's going to get over nine, but maybe lean over here, the eight and a half. As far as the the game bet goes, I do like the Astros. So uh, moving to game nine, the Dodgers. Tyler Glass now going against Louis Varland. Wind is blowing out at eleven miles an hour. Over looks good here. This one. Eight and a half. Let's see if we get a better number. Yeah, eight and a half paying even money. Go a little over and a little sprinkle on the twins. So, twins money line. Pick nine. Twins money line. And over eight and a half. So it could be a parlay. All right. Twins looking good. We had them yesterday. They let us down, but this one winds blowing out 11 miles an hour, 60 degrees. I think this one gets over, gets over the eight and a half. So pick nine twins money line over, over to game 10. We have the Phillies against the Cardinals. Zach Wheeler will go against Sonny Gray. And this one here is set at seven and a half. So seven and a half here was seven earlier. And I do like the over. Let's see if we get Uncle Marion. Pick 10 over. All right. And it seems like it's real quiet now. So get Uncle Marty on the line. <clears throat> Hello? Uncle Marty. What's up? Hey, I'm already through ten of these games, so how you doing? Oh, we're live. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 
prepared for that. <laughs> oh, my bad then. You are live. But I'll, I'll go through these. I got uh, game 11. I'm at Oakland against Texas. Alex Wood, 9.72 ERA going against Nathan Eovaldi, who's 1-0 and with a 1.38 ERA. Let's see if we got some numbers on this one. Look in here. So 805 start in Texas. So yeah, obviously Eovaldi looks like the better pick in this game here. Um, this one could go under. I don't know what it's set at. Who do you like in this one, Uncle Marty? I actually did bet this game. I took uh, the Rangers in the first five innings. They're big favorites, but if you give away the half run in the first five, it's only minus one forty. Oh, that's so, a good idea. Um, also, I don't, I don't really trust the bullpen. Uh, okay. So I'm not, not going to give away that one and a half. It just ain't going to happen. Um, so, yeah, half run, sure. Against Alex Wood, you know, give me the Rangers all day. I like half, that one. Half run, first five. All right. Yep. Okay. What else are you at? Do you talk about the early games? Yeah, I could go. I'll go through them again with you. Um, but I just want to get through the last four here. Sure. I don't think I got the, I haven't really, you can skip Uncle Marty time. I didn't look at the last four games by time. <laughs> okay. I just, uh, you know, I'll go real quickly. Two, I can give you my two cents. If you want. So, I'll go quickly on these four. Um, Arizona Rockies. I like the over 11, uh, here. So. Let me put it in for pick 12. Cal Quantrill, huh? In Colorado? Yeah. How's that working out? That can't be working out very good. I don't know it's yet. It's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Well, they got him. He's got the 90 RA. You know, and the Rockies do hit Merrill Kelly well, so they hit him well. That's where I figure the win's at nine. Yeah, it just seems like it's not too high. Yeah, Merrill Kelly, though, you're right. And they did lose yesterday. The Diamondbacks lost yesterday with Zach Gallon. They should have won. So. There's been some crazy weather at Coors. I saw the other day that the, the wind was blowing in at 30 miles an hour. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's the scene today. It says. I freaking I hate Coors. I, I stopped stop playing Fanduel when there's a Coors game. I'm like, screw it. Yeah. I don't want to deal with this. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, just games. It's just nine miles an hour today, so it's quiet. It's calm. Like, it's calm and quiet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's the uh, temperature? Anything, Six, anything meaty? 61 degrees. Sunny. Very yeah. pleasant. Yeah, no way. Well, rain. Camp Control allows a ton of contact. Uh, but, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I would... I would be betting on the Diamondbacks there. I, you know, over under, you know. Yeah. The uh, the over in course is always a good idea. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't mess with those very often. But uh, anyways. Okay. I say Diamondbacks. All right, next game. Okay, next game's Tampa Bay against the Angels, and this was uh, one of our winners yesterday on the show. Uh, the Angels money line plus one twenty four. So we did hit on that one. It's Aaron Savali, with one and one with a one point five ERA against Patrick Sandoval, one and one with the six point one four ERA. And the wind is going out at ten miles an hour. The over under eight and a half, and uh, Tampa Bay's minus one twenty on the money line. Angels plus even money. So I like the Angels here. They won yesterday, I think, 7-1, I believe. I just stick with them here with Sandoval. I don't know if I could trust Savale. I could see him getting rocked. He's pitching all right. He's yeah. got problems when he faces the uh, elite inning. Yeah. Like, you know, he's going to get he gets shredded by the Yankees every time. I can't wait till they play the Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I don't like anything here. You don't? Okay. I ain't doing anything here, but right. uh, I, I do like Sandoval. Um, the Angels' bullpen is freaking terrible. Yeah. What are, they, what are they giving you on the innings bet? 
you know. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I don't have it pulled up, but oh, I have even odds. odds. Oh yeah, yeah, it's even odds. That's I just took the good. Angels. That's pretty good, right there. If you look at the odds, you took that first five innings right there. And then you don't have to worry about their terrible bullpen. I know they got a closer that's pretty good. Okay. I mean, he's doing good so far as to this, but they're the Angels, man. Their bullpen always sucks. I don't, I don't want to be involved in that. So if you like the Angels, take that first five. That's okay. My, uh, recommendation. Okay, I'll get on that. Yeah. Cool. First uh, five, yeah. All right. And then we actually hit the, the last three yesterday, so we did get them all right, but we had a rough start at the beginning there. You would have helped. We got, we got. Yeah, you were hot. Um, I saw your picks on DraftKings. Um, but we did get both of these overs right yesterday. Washington and the Giants yesterday was at seven and a half. It just went to – they did go over. I think there was nine runs in the game. And then the Cubs – the Cubs went way over. Holy cow, that thing. And then they, uh, the Padres won the game. I put, you saw, I put a dollar on it mid game. Huh? Yeah, I got 20. Is that what you do when it's eight to nothing? You're like, oh man, you're automatic. You can put that dollar on the other team. <laughs> yeah, I was losing. I, I lost all that Purdue money and, uh, not too much, but, and, and one of them was, uh, they gave me a free, free bet. So I was, yeah, able, I I'll, I'll, on that yeah. One. So I went a little heavy on them. So that that helped getting that Padres twenty five to one. Wow, that was you know a little more money in the account. So I think the Giants. What did I do on this one? Yeah, over on it. Uh, if you could shop around and maybe get a seven and a half. Let me see if it's out there. No. Wow, there's a lot of games today. Fifteen games. So no, it's a it's at eight. The over is at eight. Josiah Gray against Kyle Harrison. I'm going to stick with the over. Right, you're out of your mind. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know. Hey, I, if you like that over, you know, uh, well, uh, Josiah Gray isn't a good pitcher. That's I, why, yeah. I, Harrison's uh, good. Uh, that, ball, that ballpark contains everybody. Harrison is allegedly the second coming of. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Krukow. <laughs> Name a great Giants pitcher. Madison Bumgarner. Yeah. Mike Krukow. <laughs> Harrison's one and one with nine Ks. 4.91 ERA. Josiah Gray's 0 and 2 with a 14 ERA. <laughs> San Francisco's hitting about 275 against Gray in the past. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's really sure it's low. You got that going for you, and the Nationals bullpen sucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Giants bullpen's all right. You know, I I think my, my instinct say Harrison is a way better pitcher than Gray, so just you know, go with that. Mm-hmm. I don't want. I'm never going to give away them. No one and a half. Yeah, one of that Giants team. What do they got on the innings? Innings minus half run for the Giants. Yeah, minus 135. If I was going to do something, then that's what I would do. But, uh, minus 135 for the first five? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then next off, I like the over here, seven and a half. Ben Brown against Joe Mus- Musgrove. So, uh, What's the first thing you said? Ben oh. Brown has an 11. <gasps> Look at this. Ben Brown's got an 11 ERA, and I know it's limited. Sample size: Joe Musgrove six point two e two eight ERA, and the over under set at seven and a half. The winds moving uh, left to right. <laughs> it, the storming winds of San Diego. It, ten uh, ten knots. <laughs> here's the problem: I have absolutely no idea who the hell Ben Brown is. He probably yeah. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Padres all day. I, there's been a lot of starting pitchers out there this year. You know, I was on spring break. I haven't, I haven't looked into some, a lot of these guys like a Ben Brown, but Joe Musgrove. You know, maybe his weakness is against lefties. Mm-hmm. I ain't afraid of any lefty in that damn Cubs lineup. I don't, I don't care about. Uh, yep. You know, uh, with, with Bellinger. Yeah. 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 He is. Yeah. He is. <laughs> 
So, uh, you know, give me the Padres right. minus one thirty-five on wow on the on the money line. That's pretty nice. Where yeah, did this come from? I know that's a that's a gift. I just bet it now. I swear. <laughs> I just saw that. I wonder if I it's do some research into this Ben Brown guy. Oh, the Padres are minus one forty at ESPN bet, so DraftKings is giving up the best FanDuel 138. Yeah, DraftKings, that's a gift. And the Cubs. Well, well, yeah. And the Cubs were up big yesterday, eight to two, and they lost. That's gotta hurt them today. And I think the Padres just have that momentum. Like you come back. I mean, I can see them. Well, yeah. I well, they got a dumb manager over there. Yeah, I, I watch the Cubs Dodgers game, and they, everybody's like, "What? What are they doing?" Yeah, Some morons. Okay, so this Ben Brown guy last year mm-hmm. in Triple A threw seventy two innings. Guess how many walks he had? Fifty one. Oh 51. boy. Oh Dear my God, man! Give me all right. Well, you you uncovered something nice here. Yeah. So, uh, Padres. Yeah, give, me the, give me the Padres. Minus you, 135, I'll take it. You could lay the run and a half for plus 145 or plus 150 on ESPN bet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of giving away that. The run, run. Yeah, it's unless, tough. Unless you're in a complete team. If you're a complete team yeah. and you can guarantee me about this bullpen, then I'll give away the run and a half. But I, there are very few teams like that. So. You'll, you'll be hearing about that throughout the year from Uncle Marty this summer. Yeah. I and I was that. telling the audience, we have you, once you accept that requested stream yard, we'll be going live. So. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I downloaded that. So that's, that's oh, cool. Exciting. It looks that's easy, exciting too. For your uh, Cousin Eddie gambling enterprises. It's You're right, brother. everything. We once are. Everybody sees my face. It'll really bring up the ratings. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why we're not showing our faces. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that'll inspire me to work out a little bit more. We got to get a ch- Well, we got to eventually get a girl on the show and we'll just show her and then we'll like be way in the back. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just show her. Those shows do really good. That Ra- Wager Street show, that show does really good. They have a blonde and they have like this really old guy. And then, like, I I don't know who does this one show, but another two really old guys and a hot blonde, and they (laughs) they got the great ratings. Yeah, I I was watching this one, and it was like they got this like alternative looking chick Mm -hmm. that's uh, pretty attractive, and they they got her in the front row, and you know she all all she does is talk about Taylor Swift. Yeah, this is brilliant. Right, brilliant. Yeah, you know that's what we'll we'll do. Maybe we'll get there. We'll get there. We are going to be looking for a beer sponsor, so maybe Fat Heads or Brew Kettle will come our way. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking for a beer sponsor. <laughs> yeah, we need money for beer. Hey, why don't we talk about these early games? I know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get into the early games. I'm kind of pumped up. I'm kind of pumped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into these early games. Enough about our beautiful faces. Um, Detroit versus Pittsburgh. I'll let you go first. I already picked mine, so I'll let you give your pick. 1235 start, Casey Mize against Martin Perez in Pittsburgh. The Tigers versus the Pirates. Who do you like in this one? Um, this is a rare time where I like the over. Okay. I'm all about the over. Casey Mize gives up a lot of contact. That Detroit bullpen sucks. Mm-hmm. Pittsburgh, Martin Perez gives up a lot of contact. Yeah. I don't think Detroit's that good of a hitting team, but you give the give up contact to these guys, they'll burn you. Yeah. And um, also, Pittsburgh is playing lights out, and their bullpen is taxed, so you're going to get the crappy guys um, in the pen today. So lots of contact, yeah. decent weather, terrible bullpens. Give me the give me that eight and a half. I can't believe it hasn't moved up yet. Okay. I haven't looked at the lineups yet, but um, they can't they can't screw them up that bad, can they? Oh yeah. <laughs> Every now and then you gotta look at that. That's why I don't bet Sunday. I, I can't bet Sunday games <clears throat> until I see that lineup. Yeah, I usually. You know, that's when Austin Hedges starts batting cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
you want to you want to win or do you want to make Austin? Oh Austin? man, I feel like he's like a professional actor up there. Like he's just like a baseball player actor. He can't play baseball, but he can act really well. He looks like a ball player, and, and sometimes he gets a hit, but but very very so rarely, bad, very sucks. rarely. Yeah. I see. Okay, so Detroit's going with their A squad, and Pittsburgh has. Somebody named Jared Criallo betting lead off. Yeah. Otherwise, it looks pretty pretty decent. Uh, yeah, that's I'll right. Out Williams is bad at cleanup. Who cares? So, uh, okay. yeah, and nice weather. So yeah, great uh, weather today. Yeah. 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 Super then, sunny. Uh, if you, you want to talk about that Boston game, because I'm pretty pumped up. About yeah, it. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna one. get. I'm gonna go to all of them. There's just nine more here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. So so this will be like a two hour show, and then. Uh, no, hopefully we'll get through it quickly. Okay. Uh, Burns against Brian Bello. I love saying Bello. So Burns against Bello, 2.31. Baltimore against Bello, 5.4 ERA. Who do you like in this one? This Bello guy, he looks cool. Yeah. And he throws hard, but he sucks. Okay. He sucks. He's like you know, he's a fly ball pitcher uh, with a four and a half FIP. Mm-hmm. Uh, Corbin Burns is a way better pitcher. Yeah, and that Red Sox lineup is so overrated with Tyler O'Neill banning. Right, third. that's what I saw. That's what I saw, and I was like, oh my god, I that was my pick. So I agreed with you earlier. I put in Baltimore money line all yeah, day, did, uh, all I day. Did, uh, bird, I did the birds. Uh, minus oh, a half run, uh, first five innings, uh, even odds. And, uh, I might, I might spend my, uh, my no sweat on that one too. It's yeah. It's looking pretty tasty. So you got the money line and first five. And, uh, Baltimore minus, or Baltimore minus a half run. Oh yeah. Okay. Even, even money. First five. All right. Game. Yeah, cool. Game three. Yeah, Ch- Chicago White Sox, Michael Soraka against Logan Allen. Can you believe this? I know it's like Soroka, but I like I like Sox saying the names beginning. different. Yeah. All right. Are the Indians, well, like Logan Allen's a nice pitcher. It's fine. It's not going to the All-Star game or anything. Right. No. I know where you're going. Minus 218. I know. Minus 218. I, that's how bad the White Sox are. Are. And, yeah, and they got a ground ball pitcher throwing. Yeah, these guys can't field. You know, normally you're like, ah, you know, give me the one and a half. But God. they couldn't field. You're right. They had what three airs yeah. yesterday, and, and they only scored. The Indians only scored four runs. And I think the White Sox had so many airs. Well, yeah, and the Indian, the Indians had edges in the lineup yesterday. Oh I, God, you know, uh, Loriano is. Well, not far behind edges in terms of major league talent. Yeah. But uh, the Indians are going to have the A lineup out there tonight. They're going to have Bo Naylor. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I, this is one of those times where I'm like, okay, I'll give, I'll, I'll give away that run and a half. I mean, if you're going to do it, it did give me the tribe. But, uh, boy, do the White Sox suck. <laughs> yeah. There, I was recommending them in just because of the, Two to one payouts if they win, but they can't win. So I'm just lighting my money on fire. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's going to be really hard to take that team. Uh, you, you're going to start seeing them getting um, three hundred. Be long. You're going to you're going to start seeing them getting two and a half runs. Yeah, you're going to start seeing them getting one and a half runs uh, plus you know one seventy five. Yeah, they're not too far away from that. And uh, they're bad, so get it, get in before everybody wises up. Yeah, they, and they can't play defense. That's they, they, just, can't, hit. they can't catch. They, they can't defense. catch. They, they can't field. Kind of sounds like our team. When yeah, we when we played. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. All right. Well, Marty's got to get moving. I know. Play. All right, game you four. Yeah, game I four. Like, Brewers okay. Reds. I like the under nine and a half Brewers Reds, and I do like the Brewers. Who do you like? And we'll just keep it quick. You know, if you want a hot take, you want a hot take. Uh, Joe Ross is not a good pitcher. It's a small park. Yeah. Bad bullpens. 
You think in the under, I, the only, you know. The, the rain. Is probably, it's got rain. 65% rain. Oh, yeah. I, I'm staying away. It looked like a rain out. Yeah. It could be a rain out. All right. Game five, Miami Marlins against the Yankees. A.J. Pook or Puke against Carlos Rodon. And the Marlins won a game yet? One in ten. They're one in ten, yeah. <laughs> one in ten. How do you think this one's going to go? I, I picked the Marlins' money line because they got numbers against Rodon, and New York has faced Pook, and they only got one hit. Every guy in New York's lineup has faced them in just one hit, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're being, when you're betting on this game and you're taking the Marlins, you're expecting Rodon to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, either on or off, he could be off, right. But, uh, boy, uh, I, uh, they're, the Marlins are another team. They're just, boy, are they bad. And um, I don't think they hit lefties very well. Like, Aries doesn't hit lefties. Uh, uh, Jazz Chisholm has never hit lefties. Boy, that lineup is. Uh, I like to. I like that Jake Berger guy. I bet you uh, they do a little special. I would do a Jake Berger hitting a bomb today. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can I'm not betting the Marlins. I'm not recommending anything, but I'm not taking. Right. Marlins. Okay. Uh, game six, Seattle against Toronto. I got in on the over yesterday at seven and a half. Both teams hit each pitcher well. You got Kirby against Bassett. And seven and a half, I on ESPN bet I got a little on the over. So what do you think? I love this game. I yep. got a lead pipe lock on this one, buddy. All right, what is it? Long. The rest, the rest of the week is free. All right, Seattle, what? Seattle money line. Yep. Okay. Kirby, Kirby, better pitcher. Blue Jays have a. Uh, a huge bullpen problem right now. So they're going to use all their crappy bullpen guys. Yeah. And uh, Bassett was the pitcher when I went to the D-Rays game last week. He couldn't throw a damn strike. Right. So uh, give me Kirby. Give me the yeah. better pitcher, the better bullpen. You know. Do you like the over? Really, yeah, the better, better lineup, really. Yeah. Do you like the uh, over? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have a okay. take on that. At eight, right. uh, an American League game. I, you know, I don't know about the Mariners. Okay. Uh, All right. So I don't know. All right. Next off, Mets against Atlanta. Adrian Hauser, one point eight ERA against oh, Ronaldo yeah, Lopez. I, like I got the under nine and a half. Looks like forty one percent rain. Wind seven miles an hour, right to uh, left. Bummer. I hope it doesn't get rained. It out. looks like I'm it'll home. get in. Ronaldo Lopez stinks. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe this guy's starting for the Braves. Anyways, Hauser is a way better pitcher. Yeah, Hauser. Um, and you get plus 150 in the first five innings with the Mets. That's who I did. Okay. Mets money line? Mets money line, first five. All right. Mets money line, first five. Moving over quickly, Houston Astros, Christian Javier against Cole Reagans. 740 start. Wind's moving seven miles an hour, seven miles in. Eight and a half over under. I like the Astros money line minus one thirty. Who do you like? <laughs> I bet it. I bet the Royals. And, okay. Uh, I just like Ragans a lot. Uh, yeah, I he, yeah, I, that's okay. And the Astros have a lot of bullpen problems. So that's my thought right there. I took the, uh, the rare Casey money line against the Astros. Right. This is probably the only damn circumstance I'd be doing this, but that's what I did. Okay, that's cool. So I got Astros, you got R Ragons. That thing looks like it could go under eight and a half. But I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a really uh, good point. That'd wind's a nice little uh, little parley. Yeah, wind's yeah. going in too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with geez, you could do the plus one and a half. You know, if it, like me, I like the Royals. I could do the plus one and a half and the under. Yeah, yeah, it could be all right. All right, two so more. I don't, gonna, I don't think anybody's scoring 10 runs in that game. Oh, yeah. Two more to go, and we're out. All right, what do you got? Uh, Dodgers at the Twins. Twins were supposed to win yesterday because they hit the lefties well, and then they, they didn't come through. Uh, you got Tyler Glass now with a 3.1 e ERA against Louis Varlin. 0-1 with a 6.75 ERA 
The wind's blowing out at 11 miles an hour, and the over-under is 8.5. I don't know if I'm buying that park. I don't, the wind just doesn't seem to matter much in that park. It doesn't make any sense. I think it blocks the wind pretty good. Yeah. You know, I can't uh, back that up with anything other than my own observations. Uh, Tire Glass now and the Dodgers are far superior mm-hmm. to the Twins. So, uh, yeah. I, I took it, the same thing yesterday. I mean, I just took the Dodgers just because they're just a way better team than the Twins. Yeah, it looks like it looks like I had the Dodgers going a lot in the beginning of the season, and yesterday was the first time I switched, and, and I didn't – I lost, but – I get what you're saying. Why, why try to fight the uphill battle with this team? <laughs> yeah, really. You can't I, win. You're not gonna. I mean, you're gonna get some wins against them, but it ain't worth it. The sweat. Yeah, you know? I don't think Louis Varland is gonna, uh, you know, pitch a no no today. Yeah, well, that's what it's, what it's gonna take. And let's see on the first five run line. Yeah, Dodgers minus one thirty. If you want to save yourself a run. I'm fine with that, but uh, this is one of those circumstances. I'll, you know, I'll give away the I'll give away the run and a half. The bullpen is just way better, and the pitcher's way better. Yeah, I got the team's way better. Yeah, I got and the. Me, I hope I win today. You know, I, the more I talk to you, the more I want to. I'm, I'm betting things that I didn't even think I was going to bet on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, you're <laughs> in for the Dodgers. I put a little, some real small play on the Twins. Nothing big, but but I may uh, look at it again later, but. All right, last game, because we are betting and going over every game. So, uh, Phillies against the Cardinals. You got Zach Wheeler with the .75 ERA. That's under one. Against Sonny Gray with a zero ERA. And the uh, wind going five miles an hour. And I like the over. Why not? Man, did I get a bad beat yesterday on the over? It yep. went in, uh, it went into extra innings and Philly scored yeah. two runs and I just needed St. Louis to score one run. I know to get that to get that half and it didn't happen. And they had a guy on second. I saw that. I know. I had uh, I had that. Rules. I know that stunk. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I, yeah. Uh, the Cardinals are driving nuts. That was uh, a stinker. You know, Sonny Gray, I don't think he's pitched yet. Yeah. Um so he is a good pitcher. Who knows how he's going to be off the DL? Um, right. I know the Phillies are thin on uh, relief. Um, Zach, we are a really good pitcher. I'm staying away from it. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Are you going to take that seven and a half? Yeah, I bet. I bet the over on it. It opened at seven yesterday night, but I waited a little bit, and and you have to pay a little more juice. But I put got the seven and a half. And it and it's almost even money. Seven and a half over under minus one hundred five. I, I you know, did. What I would do on that one is just bet. I I don't you know I don't even know if they have this. I, I should do. Are, is there a team under like? Can you bet the team under for St. Louis? Uh, I'm sure you like, can. Is there an over uh, under uh, on the team. It, the, I, I I bet you can on Fanduel. Yeah, I, I, the problem is this thing at baseball. I, I swear to God, there's a thousand bets right. on every game. So I just, I don't have time to switch through. Okay, over under team total is uh, three and a half on both teams. Wow. Uh, Cardinals minus 140. Yeah. You know, I tell you what, because I could see, I could see the scenario where Sunny Gray just isn't ready. Yeah. And I could see Philly. You like destroying him, right? And then you're gonna lose your bet. But what's more realistic to me is the Cardinals don't score any any runs. So uh, if I did something there, I, I like your under idea though, because I, I mean, Sonny Gray is a good pitcher. I, it's just like your bet. You don't really know what these guys if they're gonna be. Is Sonny Gray gonna be ready or not? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I know uh, Zach Wheeler is gonna be ready. So give me that uh, under under three and a half. Okay. All right, you like the under three and a half? And that's yeah. all right, that's it. Thanks, Uncle Marty. We're gonna win some money today, man. Yeah, good luck, brother. All right, you too. All right, take okay. care. All right, you got it, man. Later, bye. All right, everybody. Uncle Marty likes the under on the Cardinals. Super long show today. Thanks to everybody for hanging in there. Saw a few of you guys popping in. Appreciate it. So 
We'll be back tomorrow. Good luck, everybody. So Uncle Marty gets picking here. Cardinals under three and a half runs. Minus 140, might have said it was. Not sure to go back and see, but he likes the Cardinals under three and a half runs. I do like the over on that one, so seven and a half. Take care, everybody. We are out of here.